Uh, well, uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to this session. This morning, we had the pleasure of having Florence Belen here with us this morning. Um, and she has come from the University of Lumière uh, de And she's here today uh, to talk about uh, the return of the science show as a way of facilitating and enabling a dialogue between civil organizations and um, the research communities. This session is part of the project uh, Erasmus Plus Urban Infants and also the Citizen Science Program in Puerto Granada. Um, Florence uh, will highlight the main benefits of the science show today. Uh, Florence, thank you very much for being here today and we are very excited um, to, to listen to you, to your uh, presentation. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks. So, hello everyone. Thanks a lot for the of Granada. I'm very happy to be here to so uh, all the things you're doing, the wonderful you're doing with Media Lab, I thank Esteban for his invitation and all the colleagues which are, who are very interesting, stimulating for me. So today I will speak about our experience with Science Shop, but my purpose is to have questions with you, to have discussion, to have dialogue. Mm -hmm. It's just an example, but it's not the you know, the, the law, so just to, to share with you this experience and maybe to, to share some, some reflection. So yesterday I presented to you, I presented the Science and Society National uh, Policy to, 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 to share with you the evolution of this kind of field inside the universe, how now science and society when we say science reason for society, science communication, science outreach, uh, public engagement, citizen science. So we have a lot of words now for the moment. Sometimes we can be confused, but this is the same concept. That means we have to perform the dialogue with civil society. You say, okay, come on, that's natural to have dialogue with civil society. It's the, the real way to have contact. But what we observe, what I would like to share with you, for example, for our university, we are so concentrated on the, the first mission of the university is research and training. And what we observe is that sometimes the link with the civic society is not so easy. It's not so spontaneous. We, we have to work on it. We have to have a strategy. You know, we have to have a roadmap. So, and why is it useful? I explained yesterday. You see that you can not have the excellent research without being connected with the people, because people maybe will not understand what the researchers are doing. Why are they doing this research? And all the crises we had, societal crises like the pandemic and so on, uh, show us that. We have to work this, on this dialogue, otherwise our experts, our the best researchers we have, are not going to be listened. And any opinion will be more important like any scientific uh, purpose. So we have to think about that. So today I will speak with you about one device, which is the science shop, what we have at my university. So my university is University of Union II, which is specialized in social sciences and humanities. This is our field. So this university is very famous in research, but was more and more engaged in science and society policy. What for? Because, of course, the topics of our research are concentrated on the society, in a way. We work in social sciences and humanities. So that's true that the, the feeling of the governance was already focused, not only on, on technological development, innovation, but of societal issues. So we have this, uh, this uh, attention already. We see also that there was like a lack of valorization, of social sciences valorization, promotion. 
when you say to someone, I'm, I'm a scientist, I'm a researcher, everyone has in mind the physical or mathematical uh, laboratories. But what do uh, an anthropologist do every day? What is the use of a psychologist? What is the use of sociologists? So we have to promote it. The third point is also my governance was aware that to be more connected with society for our researcher, it's the good way to maybe have a look on some question that maybe the big business science would not take care. That means we will have maybe question we could be interesting for our researcher. And also the cooperation with civic society could be very fruitful for the research. So that's the end of my purpose to see today. How a participatory research, citizen science, is very interesting for all stakeholders of this kind of project. Okay? Don't hesitate to ask me any question. So what we see, so in France, you are, we are very focusing on our organization. We are standing it often, but it's important. So to know, to see this university, that means like 29,000 students, which is a big university, has nominated a vice president, a vice rector, on this sciences and society. And this policy has been declined in a construction in an administrative division, which is my department. So science and society department. So I am the head of this department. As I explained yesterday, science and society is different tools. We will have like science communication, where we organize like the science fairs, as I explained yesterday, or when we are helping our researcher in all the outreach activities, as it is in a project, research project. Just one point about the science communication. In French, we say science mediation, mediation, mediation scientific. That means we are not doing promotion. We are doing in exchange with people. Okay, we are not saying, okay, we are doing the best and our research is the best. No, we are listening as well to the question. We are taking into account the representation of people. You know, so for us, and it's interesting for me to speak with you about this concept of mediation, like a journalist, we're doing something new. We're creating something new. As when we are doing an exhibition, we create, we are creating a new model, a new project, which is not only communication. We can come on it if you further on it if you're interested in that. So the science communication, that's important, science communication. And was as I explained this today, it's not so spontaneous. You cannot go out of your laboratory to speak with people and you will speak to your colleagues. You need some uh, training. You need to adapt your purpose in order to be accessible, in order to be visible, visible, what you think. So, as I explained yesterday, the job of my team, unlike the Media Lab, is to bring some competencies, some skills about how can we have good dialogue, a good outreach activity. And it's, you need some professional skills. You're not doing a sales game like that. Just say, okay, I like sales game. My purpose, my research topic is very interesting. I do it. No, you need some professional skills. Okay, we can speak about that later if you want as well. So, my department, science communication, the science shop, I will explain to you. We have also a museum, a sculpture museum, heritage museum which is also a very good tool to get in touch with people. And don't forget that the college is the history of the city. 
but it could be also very fantastic pedagogical tools to, to share, to show how the research was doing, how it's progressing, and also it's a wonderful cultural experience. So we have the, the museum. You are welcome you know, to visit it. We have also a popular university, all ages university. That means we organize where it program with conferences where everyone, every a good expert can explain a topic in six conferences. So I think this kind of training is also very important. It could be sometimes old fashioned, but it's still relevant to a certain audience. We have also in my department also all life training office, all life training departments. That means that we say that the, the training for people we are working, we are who are not students anymore. We have to think this program connected with the needs of the society. Okay, we are not saying okay, we have to do this training about that, about this topic. Uh, um, artificial intelligence and uh, no, say the society would say, we will need some performance, some training for about waste management for example, or waste management. We we have some lack. So okay, so what you see, we have diverse devices to consider this dialogue. Okay, I'm just one thing. Okay, so I would like to speak now today. My purpose will focus on the science shop. So we are the science shop. The science shop in Lyon is at my university, University in Lyon too, now for three years. But we were operating it for 10 years in another university. I'm not going to get you confused with this uh, organization. Negotiation. Okay. This science shop in Lyon was occupied overnight thanks to a lot of several different European projects. As it's important for me that the European Commission have played a very important role in this dialogue, science and society dialogue, because they, they put some funding on this kind of choice. Because I think at the European level, they understood that we have to connect more the research with the society. Because it's also a purpose of democratization, of, of democracy. So we had some funding on it. And in 2020, had financed different uh, calls. So our science shops was helped thanks to different European projects like Terras, you can have a look on the website, and which inspires nucleus and so on. The science shop, science shop concept, the normal concept, that means, as you say, so we speak about shop, but we don't like so much because no one paid any room directly. That means that everyone, every citizen who has a question can ask the university to help to help him for this question. That's the philosophy. It's like a image shop. You need something, you can ask for it. Okay? Our particularity of our science in you is that this answer the university is done by the students. Thanks to students' words, as you will see, we can answer to, so, to some social demands. Some science shops doesn't work on that. Some science shop in Dutch, in Germany, or in UK, works in another way. 
If you're interested in the diversity of science shops, and I invite you to have a look on the Living Knowledge Network. And you will have the state of the heart of the different science shops model. Okay. So that's our particularity of our uh, science shops. In my title, I don't know if you see, I say the return of the science shop. Why do I use this term? Because the science shop is not completely new. It was already existing in the 60s, 70s. Thanks to Storm especially in the north of Europe, in the Netherlands. Thanks to the involvement of scientists, of researchers, they say, okay, we have to take, to pay attention to the atom, to the society. There was like a political movement of researchers at the beginning for this kind of tools. And you know, I, I don't know, about the other country, when in this year, in this period, 70s, 60s, you know, we want to deconstruct, I don't know, the models of the society, you know, we were a little bit disruptive as a style. Say, okay, now the society needs to have the power, not only the very official people. We say in France, in French, education populaire. Which is, I, I explain to you because it's very important to know this history, because that's the philosophy of our bias. That means that the idea was okay, knowledge is power, the power has to be shared and not only preserved for some people. So we have to find the way of sharing this knowledge with the civic society. If we want that the people can get emancipated. Okay? What we notice, we see this dynamic of this time from some researchers. The point is that some science shops haven't continued because of lack of money. You will need some money. You will need, it's not so easy. The intention is really good. But practically, and you will see, you need time, you need, you need involvement, implication. That means you need, in a way, money. Okay, so I will explain it later. Okay, so that's, but as I say, these tools was finished, we are not continuing, but we saw that, okay, the civil society is more and more aware of the societal issues, is more and more educated. And the evolution of our society puts the society in a way, society in a way of to be, to, to uh, the, the volunteer, the, the will of to get more involved in the public decision. Say, okay, we are not saying, okay, expert who will choose for us our future. No, we say, for example, with environmental issues, that it's also better. And the evolution, the innovation, the engagement, the involvement is coming from the field, from the, from the bottom. So we see this um, evolution. So that's why we can explain in a way, okay, maybe it's time to wear film the science of tool, the science of tool. Okay. Okay. So, just about the context, where does our science shops take place? As I was telling you, we are working in our university, specialized in social sciences. We have some expertise topic fields that we uh, manage, like we say, public action and citizen, the question of gender, the question of work, the question of cities and mobility. So we have some specialization. But what is the strength of our science? 
is to be that is that our university is connected with the other university of our territory. And why it's important for us? You will see it. When we receive a social demand, it's not a disciplinary demand. People don't mind if we speak about only anthropology or on sociology, they don't mind. They have a problem. They have a problem of the pollution in a garden, for example, in a special urban garden. This question of the pollution has to be, of course, so we need some data, uh, scientific data, but also maybe it has to have something to do with the behavior of people working in this garden. Or maybe this is the question of history. We don't know. Maybe the problem is coming from, you know, misunderstood with this garden. So, you know, people don't mind which disciplines we have. They are a global, a complex questions. So the purpose, the response, has to be the most multidisciplinary in a way. So maybe, okay, so a mixture of different answers. That's why we need to have connection with different researchers of our territory. Okay? So, how do we work? That means that our first goal, our first activities of our science is to collect social demands in order to have question coming from the society. Okay, and to see after that how we are going to answer to it. Okay. When I say social demands, what does it mean? Okay, we are not going to answer to any question for any people who are working on the street saying, okay, no, I don't I don't understand why my shoes doesn't work today. No, we are not at this level. We are collecting questions from a social groups. It could be a CSO, it could be a cooperation, it could be a district committee. It could be a student association. It could be, that means it's a group. Something which is organized, okay? And which is, it's not also a bankable question. It's a general interest question. Okay, so we have to collect this question. That's why, as you say, we could have a very large artist and research question linked to environment and social question and inequalities, art and culture, citizenship and democracy, social question, territories and local development, and so on. So we have we will have some a diversity of questions. I will give you some examples. So, as I said, two points. The questions are coming from the society, a society which is organized. As you will see, our particular is that the student is going to answer this question, and we will see how. And the third part, the third point has to be that's something with the story that I explained to me. We say in French, science is a participatory research. That means we are not just going to do, to give an answer. You have a question, we work with researchers, students, and we come back and give you the result, and bye bye, ciao. No, the philosophy is that this question is going to, to stimulate every second of this project. The student, the researcher, but also the civic society demanding. 
That's why we are in a participatory research. That means the civil society is going to be engaged, involved in the research process. All the research process long. At the beginning, by the questions, of course, but also in the methodology of collecting data, of doing either, on, on look at um, doing some state of art, and also at the end, when you are going to interpret the research, when you are going to make like a conclusion, people are going to be engaged. Okay? So, you will see we are at this point with the science show. You've got, when you're speaking about citizen science, it would be interesting for me to speak with you about your example. We are different level. Sometimes it's going to, to get us confused. Citizen science, you can have just the level one called sourcing. That means data collection. Citizens are involved in the collection of data. We observe that, for example, in astronomy. Astronomy is a discipline which was done with uh, citizen engagement. That they were collecting data, observing stars, okay, noting the effect, and said to the researcher, okay, come on, we've got some data. You can do what you want with it. In botanical as well. Also, botanical history is led also by citizen observation. Okay. The level two is chair intelligence. Citizens are involved in a basic level of data interpretation and analysis. Okay, okay, you observe this kind of law, can you, what can you say, how do you interpret it, and so on. Okay. Collaborative research, that means that citizens and scientists identify together the research program and question and organize together the collection and analysis of data and the results and the diffusion of services, which is very important as well. Can we speak about that? Okay. You can have a further citizen science process, that means that collegial research. Citizens and scientists share the project's responsibilities, costs and decisions. That means they are at the same level. That can ask a lot of questions. Uh, for example, the question of uh, intelligence quality. Who are going to sign the paper? Who is uh, the owner of the data? And so on. Okay. At our university, that means this fourth model that citizen science, uh, civic society, is engaged with the governance. We make decisions together about research strategy. So you know it's the highest level. Our science shop is, we will say, level three. In France, uh, in, uh, in French, uh, we like speaking about wealth. You know, we can have a big discussion about wealth. So we don't. Sometimes some people will say it's a collaborative research. Some people will say it's a participatory research. Some people will say it's citizen research. So it depends on the point of view of everyone. So, okay, but we will say participatory research in our science. So, as I told you, it's the, the question of the We are speaking about the question of emancipation and for citizens and associations regarding life, world conditions, act on systemic injustice and inequalities, contribute to minorities recognition, facilitate social public innovation. Globalized knowledge system, 
we can also the philosophy is to say, okay, we have to give some quick scores of development with some efficiency based purpose. That means when doing scope preparation, that reminds that the scientific methodology is the most important. We're not just doing partners, cooperation with any partners. When doing a partnership with the university, that means you are demanding from the university a scientific methodology. That means some objectivity as well of the residents. A neutral result, neutral process. We are not just doing some, some studies in order to instrumentalize the results. Okay, so we would like to prove you that you is the most efficient in time. No, we will do it scientifically. And if the result of our research will prove that it's not efficient, the researcher is legitimized to say, okay, the efficiency of your association is well. That's very important because in our period of confusing of fake news or of people in the world, to say, when I'm doing a cooperation in the university, that means that I'm asking to a partner to give in this dynamic a methodology and a process which is validated by some peers somewhere. Okay. So, as I told you, first thing I'll say is collecting research with social demands through the CSO network. We have to collect the questions. You say, oh, you will tell me it's very easy to ask you to say, put your box, do you have a question? And you can give your question and we'll see what we're doing with that. It's not so easy. It's not so easy. For several reasons. We are inside the university. So for us, universities are well, we don't we are not afraid we can get in and so on. It's not the case for everyone. Some people don't feel comfortable with this well. They will say, it's not for me. I don't know if you notice already this kind of reaction. When you organize open public activity, some people say, okay, it's not for me. I'm not in a way allowed to get in. I'm not expert enough to have this kind of dialogue with research. Okay, so already we have to prove that, okay, that's for you as well. You are allowed to have a question. There is no stupid question. Also, as I told you, we are collecting social demands, which are in a way already organized, which yeah, it's the question is a result of a co collective uh, wandering. So that means it's a result of a process from a committee, from a cooperation, from a CSO. So we have to find the CSO, the civil society representative, who are ready to have a question, consistent question, which is relevant to all the collective people behind these questions. You know what I mean? So, this first, first part of our process is the most important, and that need, we would say, some mediation skills. It's, it's, a, it's a job that needs some skills to get in contact with this network. So my colleagues, there are two, they are going to the General Assembly from Environmental CSO, for example or NCSO, or Urban Cooperation Network. They're going to this assembly. They're listening to their question, to their reflection. 
and they are quite welcome to ask some questions to the scientist. They say, okay, here, you have done something to do. This is something to do. You can understand. You can. Do you know science tools? You are allowed to ask a question. Okay. So it's very important that, and that's why I explained to you this story. Okay, so scientific would like to help the society. But to help the society, you have to be in touch with me all the time. Not just one, two months per year. Every every year, also year, you have to get in contact with the association and so on. And that's why I took time to explain you all the different activities you do, as you do in India Lab and Vega as I see. You get always in contact with this network. If you want to work to, um, to produce a good for cooperation, that we die. That we trust, that we understand of each other. So my two colleagues are still connected with this world. Okay. After that, so what we say, we have a very process in the organized. We will have a call. We have a call. We have a time of a call. We say appel à manifestation d'intérêt. That means interest manifestation call. You have a question, it's time, it's time to write and to contact us. What we're doing after is we're helping them to transform the question in a research problematic. So for that, we organize like some workshop, like this emergency workshop where we will put together different CSOs and, to, and with researchers, we, we will and encourage them to explain, to express their question. And when we try, okay, what kind of problematic do you have? For example, I'll give you an example. We received one demo from a district committee about the level of lights in the night. Which level of the light do we have for the night in order to preserve or any uh, crime or any problems, not crime, but you know, urban problems. Okay. When we were, they were explaining this, they were waiting for a technological answer. You would say, okay, you have to put the light on this level of books. Okay, number 10, number 8, or so on. When we are speaking as a researcher, we say it's not only a technological problem, it's also the question of the security feelings. So to say, okay, what what does it mean you secure the city? What of the past of the district? What's the security feeling regarding some cultural aspects? All of us have not the same level of security uh, quite frightened. It depends on your, on your education, on your cultural, and so on. So you see, we we with them make the question evolve to a factual question to a research community. So that's why we we tell you speaking about participatory research. That means we put people in the movement to also make the question evolve for themselves. And to say, okay, I'm happy, I'm okay that we will not have a technological answer, but maybe make something more complex, more, you know, black and white and so on. Say, okay, we are, so we make them evolve also in their reflection. Okay. Again, 
to do this kind of dynamic, intellectual dynamic, you need some skills. So my colleagues are trained to uh, how you can animate your workshop with diverse stakeholders, diverse partners. So you will have some, and that's why I was speaking about popular education, education popular, because it was some um, tools where they developed new way of training, of teaching, not so bottom, top down system to say, okay, you have to learn that and so on. It is, but say, okay, how can we participate in this education program? So my colleagues, are using like you do I mean uh, some uh, some um, activities like ice breaking and they will say I don't know if you translate it moving debate that means in the room people can move and say okay I'm here and they will have some astis I don't know if you say in English or Spanish astis that means some you know something I'm going to have to make people comfortable and to make people active in this reflection. One again, one more. You are not coming here and say, okay, I'm going to animate this workshop, I'm very nice, I'm friendly. And, uh, no, you need skills. You need this experience. You, you save it when you're working with different partners. You need time to talk about the world. Do we speak with the same language? When you speak about security, have we got the same references? Or do we need time to be sure that we share a common language? Okay, so this part is, takes a long time. And sometimes it's not really visible. But that's the condition, the first condition, if we want that the world will be better later. Okay. After that, so we will have, we will receive like 50 demands. So it does the demand of questions. My colleagues are checking if the CSO is solid enough, strong enough to receive someone. Are they ready to have a scientific approach and so on? We have some practical questions as well. As your colleague this today asked me, when the, the, the field will take place outside of the city, how can we go there? Practically, how can I send the student in this part of the territory? Is that okay? Are we ready? Do we have the finance and so on? So we have to check these practical things, which are not has to be neglected. Neglected is to be important because you could have all the conditions. But practically, we cannot go there. <laughs> so, you know, so we have to check that. After that, we have a scientific committee. So, we will have researchers from all the universities that I show you, specialized in different diverse cities. And the particularity of our committee is that we have scientists, researchers, but not only. We have also some CSO representative and some students. So it's the three parts scientific committee. And all of them have the same voices. Okay? All of them, all of this point of view are important for us. For example, which is interesting, is okay, the scientific committee. We look at the question, say, okay, it's interesting. It's general interest. Do we have the students ready to do it? Because if we don't have the recipients, we, we cannot answer. And also, one question is okay, what is the level of the research inside? Maybe sometimes the questions. It's only they need to say that part. It's always done in another session. But the way that 
was not diffused to all the digital part access to the wizards. So the, maybe we can share experiences with a different context, but that would be enough. Okay. Also, the testimony of the CSO representative, we say, ah, oh, yes, this question, we have a lot of this kind of question in our For example, when I speak about the Fab Lab, we will say the third, uh, the third space, you know, that means new space, Fab Lab or uh, Act Lab, or I don't know, you know, this kind of, of space which are not very institutionalized sites in a way, not really funding by local authorities, but at the same time they are very innovative, developing, but it's new spaces you will have. For example, the biocycle uh, space, you know, there that's quite new. So CSO representative in this scientific committee we say, yeah, a lot of them are the question of the business model of the science. So for us, it's important that the science shop is going to work with it because this research are going to help the other one. So we have this global analysis. Okay. After that, we will choose like 15 subjects and say, okay, from this one, we will mission some students who are going to do their internship or master degree on these topics. You say, okay, that's, uh, that's possible that students will take six months on this question. We can reach the, the result at this time. Some other questions are going to be another answer. Maybe we will say this one is not really. You see, there is a question, but it's not so, it's not so okay. So maybe we will say we can ask maybe a teacher to work on it with a classroom. So maybe it will be a pedagogical. Uh, modules for uh, say so, so if we work on it with the class, maybe to have more information to look to look for some more states of heart, for example. Some of the questions we would say is too politically risky. We cannot send a master students in this question of the pollution or there's a lot of money engage and uh, we know that the, the subject is very immediate it will not accept the question on, on, on. and maybe it's a question of for a phd it's not only the master today so what will we do after that we will think okay our job as a science show we try to do it but sometimes we have not the time to tell you the truth to help them to find the funding to, to finance the PhD work because it's a huge question. So, you know, we appreciate all the demands and we say the, the importance of them and say, okay, this one is for master degree, this one is PhD, this one is not really, this one is not very interesting. Okay. So, after that, when we have our 15 uh, subjects, we, we have to recruit students. So we have a call, say, okay, we are going to have your internships call. You can do all this work. And we are recruiting students, okay, for that. That's very important as well, because all the recruitment are done with the CSO demanding. So you will have the science shops, so university staff answer, 
choice, but also the CSM choice. So that means at this time we are, and we say, according our view of this, uh, of this study, of this research. Are we okay? Are you okay that we don't, we are, we would like to have students maybe autonomous, which who are ready to say, no, I, I don't agree with this, uh, this result, for example. So you, it's very, it's, it's um, the time of the negotiation also. We are recruiting students and we are doing some agreements for the students, for the internships. Okay. This also theoretical tools of a moment where we have to be sure that we go the same way. So this is a very important moment. I just would like to say something about this negotiation. Um, as I told you, politically and philosophically, we would like to work all together. TSO committee researchers, students, you know, it, it's the best way. We are convinced that it's the most way to now. Particularly, it's not so easy. For example, so the time schedule, when you want to organize the recruitment meetings, we don't work to sometimes at the same time. People at the CSO, sometimes they are volunteers. They don't work at the CSO. So they will work maybe on Saturday uh, afternoon and uh, just uh, work Saturday per month and so on. My staff will say, no, I'm not working on Saturday afternoon. Also, if I organize a lot of meetings, recruitment meetings, the colleagues from the CSO will say, I'm not paying for that. So I cannot come 10 times to this. It is. So, you know, you have practical questions and you cannot say, okay, it's not important. It is. It is important. Because we are, we would like to be in a big world of this state in a way, but we are not. Some of them are professional, painful, painful, sometimes they say, I cannot choose alone. It's the work. It's how we work in our CSO. We have plenty uh, application. I don't understand myself, okay, I would like to work with this anthropologist on this topic. No, they say, we need to be clean. So how do we organize? All of these obstacles, but also the interests of this kind of research are present in all the steps of the research. And as a manager, I have to tell you the truth. It's not so easy. For example, we used to do an agreement. My, my colleague said, no, it's have to be equality and so on. So in the agreement, we would like that we see the university, the students, but also the CSO as coordinators. All of them, all of us are coordinators. Yeah, but administratively, especially in France, where we are very strong with administration, we like administration, it's not so easy. So I'm uh, so majority of the department. What how can you write that? They are looking they are, they are extra partners. Yes, yeah, come on, we are promoting participatory research. That we, we are ready to say that we are doing research this week. So we say that yeah, but we cannot do that. Because if, if I have a problem with the students or who are going to pay when it's moving and so on, it will give me some obstacles from the real life. So I, I say to you, because just to say, okay, it's not so easy, it's interesting, but you have to be convinced. That it's a future way of doing research and to, to be supported politically because you will have a lot of obstacles. Very soon. Okay. 
So that's a period of recruitment. And after, so our students, so that means we will have a promotion of between 10 and 50 students doing their internship in diverse uh, situations, diverse contexts. What we're doing, so my colleagues are going to accompany them to check that everything is okay. Everything is uh, under control, the students is very well, and the process is going on, and so on. I'll give you another example. Two to another example. So in the real facts, for example, once while working in a solitaire frontier, do you understand solidaire frontier? Solidaire, uh, French team, uh, West Law, where you don't pay so much to have, uh, to have food. So it was very engaged, West Law, finance, like the local authorities, and people was cooking all together and you pay at the end what you want, what you can. If you don't pay, you don't pay. You sold it there, so it out, which is very nice uh, uh, in your city. Very good, very good. They were like a struggle with the staff. You know, they were complaining, it was a lack of, and they were a good world, so, so it, a wild, a small wild in the West. The students, very engaged, very young anthropologists, they, uh, believing in this kind of uh, democracy, uh, dynamic, and so on, took part with the wild uh, stuff. You know what I mean? So, so the manager of the restaurant came to me and said, come on, we were waiting for this person not to be engaged in the debates. But in you know, observing it, but not participating in it. So, you know, that asks the question what the role of a researcher in the society and where the thing is. You have to be, you have to have some value to do it. If you have no value, solidarity and uh, democracy value, you don't start a research. These research are not so well organized. Like excellence research. I don't know about you, there is a second line research. It's another problem. So you need to have student very engaged, but not too much. We are researchers. Well, I will, I will tell you, you are not staff in this restaurant. We are waiting for you some objectivity, some analysis, some observation. But you are not like any staff in this restaurant. Don't forget your role. You know, so my colleagues will take care of that. Everything is under control. For example, also another part, we are uh, in experience with um, uh, helping people who had Alzheimer, Alzheimer disease, Alzheimer, yeah, yeah. Uh, disease. So it was like a, um, it was like a so association of people helping this kind of in people and the purpose was to know how do they do they help me how do they need it um, what kind of help do they need because you know it's very difficult when helping uh, this is people so the, the idea was to do some interview with this kind of members of this association the association was controlling all the questions we had because they didn't want to have some results. So the students, you know, in a way was like in jail, it was not free enough to do a good research. So the science shops teams, we took the decision to say, okay, this students is not going to do his work, his studies inside the CSO, but in a way we will be protecting in order that he can do a good research process. Okay, so behind this experience, it's a question of the role of a researcher in the society, how research can help the society development, where is the limit 
between to be engaged, immersed, or at the same way, at a certain distance of the research. So it's very important. And for the student, it's a good experience. Because sometimes this could be conflictual. Just one point. Sometimes we have the right idea civic society is wonderful. It's a neutral and game and so on. Come on. This is also this question of power it as well. You know, they will they can come with a general interest, but maybe question of power. So we are not to be naive with this kind of devices, or this kind of situations. Okay. One another point that didn't mention, haven't mentioned, but which is very important. When we work with the students, we know by who is going to be directed. You've got a researcher who are going to direct to, to operate the student's work. So the student is not alone, is accompanied by different persons, the science of staff, but also the academic point of view. That we share, okay, that's the methodology is correct. The references are correct. The interpretation of the reason are correct. So the science is a way for the civil society to be connected to the research, but not directly, thanks to students. Just one point about that. Some CSOs will say, okay, we would like to have the research. Now. We would like to get in contact with it. You know, they, they would like to have the best experiences of the ocean. And sometimes they say, okay, it's not so easy. Our colleagues are very busy, but thanks to the students, you can get in touch with these instances. You see what I mean? So that's important also um, how we're working. Okay, what is very important as well, and that's why it's very important that science shows take place in my department, in the science and society department, is we are focusing, we are paying attention to the valorization of the reference. We will say, okay, it's not only the research which is important, it's how they can use it. How it's going to be alive, this research. So we are training the students to explore their research not to come with a master report with the 80 pages that no one will read because it's too long, it's too complicated and so on. So we are going to help them to do that synthesis. And also maybe to present their result in the assembly of the CSO and to encourage a discussion. So we will do some video, we can do some uh, comics, we can, we, we, did, uh, <laughs> we participate in some events and so on to, to find the best way of presenting the wizard. Which is important as well regarding our problematic of today is we try to be present when there is some discussion with the local authorities, or when there is some assembly with the partners. That means we will be here. The university is here. The university is here to present the results of the students. The students will do it. That means we are helping in a way the CSO in doing their lobbying. And the university legitimize some the results. Okay, we bring this objectivity in your public debate. So that's important. This 
last part is very important as well. Because if we don't do it, another point is important for you is everything is free for the CSO. Also, each internship in uh, in France shift, shift, uh, is has to be paid in France. When you do your internships in for three months in France, you have to be paid. That means for all of these studies, the university paid for it. Okay, it's not completely free. But for the CSO, they are not paid to pay. So that means they are expected for free. Our science shops are asking for some money to the local authorities because we have to find the money somewhere. So, and you know, they, our university are very rich, but not so rich. So, um, so we have to find it. So we have some call, we are, of course, but we ask the city or the regional local authorities to help our science shops in general way to give you to give us some money in order that the university can help some specific CS. That's our business model. Okay. And for the local authorities, it's interesting because that means that put every actors in movement. In a good dynamic. As I said yesterday, is an intelligence ecosystem actors. University are working with CSO and so on. So for them, it's a good uh, public finance. Okay. Okay, so for some thesis, you will see all the all the stakeholders in this in this process. I'll give you some, some example of questions. You can have a look on our website. We have the history of our diverse subjects. For example, the first one, analyze environmental and community-based health services issues in regards to fashion acting participation to their health journey. This question was asked by Centre de Santé Communautaire et Planétaire de Jardin, that means the Community Health Center. Okay. There's a lot of subject with passions and so on. I think it's the same here. Uh, you, know, you see that uh, helping people, passion people, are more and more engaged in the uh, producing knowledge with process. Okay, another example. Analyze the economic, cultural, social factors influencing the children's relationship to buy and sell content, education, and practice. Maison du Vélo de Lyon, that means cycle house of Lyon. So, you know, you imagine it's a good entertainment with this kind of question when they arrive. It's the result of a process. The garden work for presentations, conditions, and organization proposition in the new farming groups. I suppose it's the same in Spain. We are more and more volunteer of producing ourselves, our vegetables. We will say the circuit court. That means the small circuit. No, to find produce from uh, all over the world, but to say we have to produce ourselves our own food. So how can we organize this kind of new spaces, of new initiatives? Explore the work with auditions and opinions labels to work of different types of poverty, to work an innovative system for non-commercial, human and community ownership. So you see, it was from the cooperative, likely, which is a cooperation. We are which is organizing new building for all people in the world. 
This one, so why you colors why you question the world of a, an associative radio and the community area rural urban urban. Once again, once again, one more. We have not a question like that when you came. Okay. What you can see in this kind of question is the society the question is I swear it's moving. So bicycles, the local production, you know, the, the new model of how we can be together. You know, so for us, for me, the side shop. For the university, it's the best way of capturing the new idea. Where it's moving, where it's questioning. So it's very good uh the actual level of the society. Okay. Uh, I, I told you we were speaking about master degrees internships, but we have a lot also of big ideological uh, program. Sometimes we will say, okay, we are going to organize one week of an interdisciplinary and innovating courses. We will have a demand coming from a local authority, for example, the policy design. So, and we will organize, of course, in one week, presentation of a transdisciplinary module and partnerships with student decision makers made by our colleagues Simon Gabas and you saw in the last time with engagement. So, different uh, master degree students will choose this workshop and they say, okay, we will work on it one week long and we will have diverse. Uh, moment and at the end we will present our wizard to the local authorities we were interested by the question so you you see in the organization of the day all of these students are going to be initiated to local public policies some students are already aware of that this is a topic, this is a training, the background. Some of them are not. If you are working in literature, you have no, you are not uh, engaged in this kind of reflection. So it's a good opportunity to say, okay, you're in master, maybe you can mark them. You can bring something also in this discussion. Tuesday, we will speak with them to design papers or building projects. We will work on Wednesday, Thursday, and we will help them to make the research and presentation to the decision makers. So, for the students, as for you, as for you, the good way of, okay, we can learn in another way. We seek for the partners. We can be influenced, sensibilized with the project management process, and, and so on. So, it's very, uh, stimulating one point as well uh when we speak with that about with the local authorities because they have to give us some permission to have a question and we have to mobilize them at the end of the week it's not so easy as you know at the beginning of the process as a manager I'm here i say okay don't forget this is students well it's free for you. It could be interesting, it could be inspired, it could be a good way of making you start the movement with these questions. But these students work. Well, so I, I cannot be engaged about the quality. You know, so it's very important because sometimes they will say, okay, I'm working with the university, so I would like, like the consultation I just see. Wizard. I say no, we're not in students. Okay, it's important because sometimes we are, I don't know about here, but they are too much influenced by 
consulting agency, giving some answers that the group would like to have. We are the university, so it's more on the case. And also, okay, we 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 think this we think the purpose of the complexity, and this is students' work. Well. Directed by the researchers, but the researcher is not working on the week or this. Okay. Okay, so for example, it was about the urban development in the district, as I explained. So the results, the, the student has proposed some work again on ecological transformation. They give some ideas. Utopian map about culture, video simulation about campus and its environment. So they will give some ideas. These ideas could be very interesting. I'm not saying such, but they say, and maybe we can develop it in another, like with the incubators and so on. Okay. So maybe I will finish. Uh, so the your science what's the advantage of it for the three parts? We're directing science towards social relevance and efficiency, which is important. We will innovate and reflect on the way of research and knowledge is produced, as I tell you. The question of the properties of participation and so on. What is the level of the engagement of the researcher? And also, the philosophy of that is to empower all the stakeholders. And our role is very important because we have the role of mediator facilitator, but we have to be convinced by the research and to be aware of the research process. You have to be ready to do the intermediation between the different parts, the translator, to do it yourself, the host. So we have to, to participate, but what is participation of Excel, to maker, and so on. So for me, it's the best job, but because it's very complete. You have to be aware of the search and the process and problem situation, and also to be aware of how society works and what does it mean to work in some cooperation and cooperating and you know. So you have to be very confident. The National Research Agency, as I explained yesterday, they support more and more citizen science project and now they will be asked from some uh, colleagues like my teams and mine and so on to play the role of tier of the year that means when you will have a participatory research so citizen research all together you will have a neutral position mission someone who can say okay you are not engaging them in a, maybe you're taking too much power, maybe, you know, to help this negotiation. So we're working on it, and maybe I can share with you, we are going to do like a, a chart, a chart like a paper, say, okay, research, what is it that research, what does it mean? And what do, to what do you have to pay attention? Okay. So that's quite new thoughts. Okay, we're belonging to the Living Knowledge Network. The, the next uh, assembly is going to take place in, uh, in Spain in June. And we are also encouraging the Francophone Science Shops Network. And for example, we are working with some African science shops or community based theories university it's really interesting as well because uh sometimes in europe we will have some problem with bicycle model business so 
when you work with people coming from Africa, Tunisia, Algeria, so on, they are all social problems. For example, the field where they live now for 20 years old is polluted because of the industry just implements in, in this city. So sometimes the questions are very serious and political. And they say, okay, how does the university can prove that my children are getting ill because of the pollution of this uh, industry? So, you know, you will see the level of the negotiation of the, which is important. And what is the role of the university in this case? Okay. So, I think. I can finish here. So thank you very much for your attention. So wait for my meeting. So uh...